As I learn to fashion the mental tools, I can build any condition desired. To change conditions, I must change myself. By the law of growth, cause and effect are absolute, as in the world of material things. I hold in mind the condition desired. I affirm it as an already existing fact. This indicates the value of a powerful affirmation. With constant repetition, it becomes part of me. I am actually changing myself by making me as I want to be. Character is the result of continued effort. Exactly the same thing is true in the mental and spiritual world. So, focus on thoughts of courage, power, self-reliance, and confidence. The easiest and most natural way to do this is to select an affirmation that seems to fit my particular case. The positive thought will overcome the negative, just as light eliminates darkness. Action is the blossom of thought, and conditions are the result of action. I have tools to certainly and ultimately make myself. There are only three things that can possibly be desired in the world, and each of them can be found in the world within. The secret of finding them is simply to apply the proper mechanism of attachment to the omnipotent power so that I will have access. The three things that all people desire and that are necessary for my highest expression and complete development are health, wealth, and love. I know that health is absolutely essential, and I'll admit that wealth is necessary. A sufficient supply is necessary. And as nature provides abundantly and lavishly, any limitation is made by an artificial method of distribution. Love is the third. As I possess all three, health, wealth, and love, I have a full cup of happiness. I have found that the universal substance is all health, all substance, all love. And the mechanism of attachment to consciously connect with this infinite supply is my method of thinking. To think correctly is to enter the secret place of glory. I think, I know, I will have a proper mechanism of attachment that will connect me to all I desire. This mechanism is the foundation, the imperative condition, the absolute law of well-doing to achieve well-being. To think correctly, accurately, I must know the truth. The truth, then, is the underlying principle in every business or social relationship. It is the condition to every right action. To know the truth, to be sure, affords a satisfaction. It is the only solid ground in a place of doubt, conflict, and danger. To know the truth is to be in harmony with the infinite and omnipotent power. To know the truth is to connect myself with a power that is irresistible and will sweep away every kind of thinking error of any kind. The truth is mighty and will prevail. I realize that truth is the vital principle of the universal mind and is omnipresence. For instance, for my best health, I realize the fact that I am spiritual and that all spirit is one. I bring about a condition of health because every cell in the body will manifest the truth as I see it. I see perfection. I will manifest perfection. The affirmation, I am whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, healthy, wealthy, and happy always, brings harmonious condition. The reason for this is because the affirmation is in strict accordance with my truth, and when truth appears, every form of error or discord disappears. I have found that I am spiritual. In my affirmation, I am whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, healthy, wealthy, and happy always. I live as an an exact scientific statement. Thought is a spiritual activity and spirit is creative. The result of holding this thought in mind will bring conditions of harmony with the thought. For wealth, I realize the fact that I am one with the universal mind of all substance and I am omnipotent. To assist in the operation, the law of attraction will bring me into a vibration with those forces to make success and bring about conditions of power and influence in direct proportion with the character and purpose of my affirmation. Visualization is the mechanism of the attachment that I require. Visualization is a very different process from seeing. Seeing is the physical and is related to the objective world. Visualization is a product of the imagination and a product of the subject of mind the world within. It possesses vitality. It will grow. The thing visualized will manifest itself in form. The mechanism is perfect. It is created by the master architect who does all things well.
I require love. I realize that the only way to get love is by giving it. That the more I give, the more I will get. And the only way that I can give it is to fill myself with it. I become a magnet. I know that love is in my heart today, and love is really love when I give it away. Learning to bring the greatest spiritual truths in touch with the reality of life discovers the solution for any challenge. My personal energy is always accelerated and I am made more thoughtful by the nearness to great ideas, great events, great natural objects, and other great people. I build an affirmation taking the qualities needed most, affirming over and over again, I am whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, healthy, wealthy, and happy always. I am whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, healthy, wealthy, and happy, always. Reminding the consciousness every morning and every evening. I affirm it for myself and for others that I know who need it. I want to emphasize this. Whatever I desire for myself, I affirm it for others and it will help all of us. I reap what I sow. If I send out thoughts of love, prosperity, and health, they will return to me in kind. I am the sum total of my thoughts, so I'm going to entertain only the good thoughts. This is where the ready-made affirmation comes into play. When there is anything required, Use an affirmation. Use it, take it into the silence until it sinks into the subconsciousness so that I can use it anywhere. This is the advantage of spiritual methods. They are always available. Spirit is omnipresent, ever ready. All that is required is a proper recognition of its omnipotence and the will to be the recipient of its beneficial effects. My mental attitude is focused with power, courage, kindness, and sympathy. I find that my environment creates its conditions in correspondence with these thoughts. Every success is accomplished by persistent, subjective concentration on the objective desire. As I get a complete understanding of thought, I will have learned that everything happens for a definite cause. I am able to formulate plans in accordance with exact knowledge. I will know how to control any situation, bringing adequate causes into play. When I win, as I will, I will know exactly why. I understand there is no effect without adequate cause objectively. This is basic facts. I am free to follow the path of truth. I see the issue clear to the end and meet the requirements fully and responsibly. And the result is that the world gives all that it has to give in friendship, honor, love, and approval. Abundance is a natural law of the universe. The evidence of this law is conclusive. I see it everywhere. Nature is lavish and extravagant. Wealth is manifested in everything. The trillions of trees and flowers and plants and animals and the vast scheme of reproduction where the process of creating and recreating is forever going on all indications of the lavishness that nature has provided. The abundance for everyone is evident. All wealth is the offspring of power. Possessions are of value as they are given meaning to power. Events are significant only as they affect power. All things represent certain forms and degrees of power. Knowledge of cause and effect, as shown by the laws governing electricity, chemical affinity, and gravity, enables me to plan courageously and fearlessly. These laws are called natural laws because they are governed by the physical world. There is a physical power, a mental power, a moral power, and a spiritual power. Spiritual power is superior because it exists on a higher plane. I have discovered the law of these wonderful forces in nature. They can be harnessed and made to work for me. It has enabled me to discover the laws of space, time, electromagnetism, gravity, and more. The operation of these laws depend on spiritual contact. As a plant seed reaches down into the mineral world, into the mystery of life, so the universal mind reaches down into the human mind and endows it with new, wonderful, and marvelous qualities. Thought is the connecting link between finite and infinite, between the individual and the universal. I have seen that there is a barrier between the organic and inorganic, that the only way that matter can unfold is to be impregnated with life. 
As a seed reaches down into the mineral world and begins to unfold and reach out, the still matter begins to live. Invisible fingers begin to weave a suitable environment for the new arrival. As the law of growth takes effect, I see the process continue until the flower blossoms. A seed of thought is dropped into the invisible substance of the universal mind, where the substance of all things take form. As it takes root, the law of growth begins to take effect, and I find that the conditions and environment becomes the objective form of my thoughts. The law is, thought is an active vital form of dynamic energy that has the power to correlate with its object and bring it out of the invisible substance where all things are created into visible form. This is the law and through that all things come into manifestation. It is how I access the secret place and have domain over my life. With an understanding of this law, I will and it will be. This creative power depends on my recognition of the potential power of spirit or mind and as different from evolution. Creation is called existence to the objective world. Evolution is the unfolding of things that already exist. The universal mind can be depended on to find the ways and means for bringing about any necessary manifestation. I must create the ideal and this ideal shall be perfect. I see the law in operation everywhere. All nature testifies to the operation of the laws by silently and consistently expressing itself in the law of growth. Where there is growth, there must be life. Where there is life, there must be harmony. So that everything that has life is constantly attracting itself to the conditions and the supply that is necessary for its most complete expression. My thought is in harmony with the creative principle of nature. It is in tune with the infinite mind and it will complete the circuit. Constructive thought must necessarily be creative. Creative thought must be harmonious and this eliminates all destructive or competitive thought. Wisdom, strength, courage and all harmonious conditions are the result of personal power. I have seen that all power is from within. Develop power exactly the same way that all power is developed, by exercise. This exercise consists in making an application of my knowledge. I must make the application. Abundance will come with a conscious realization of the law of attraction and the intention to bring out the operation for a certain definite and specific purpose. The will to carry out this purpose will bring about the materialization of my desire by a natural law of transference. In business, it will increase and develop along regular channels. Possibly new or unusual channels of distribution will be opened and when the law becomes fully operational, I will find that the things I seek are seeking me. My life is governed by law, by actual principles that never vary. This law is in operation at all time, in all places, fixed laws underlying all human actions. For this reason, people who control giant industries are able to determine with precision what percentage of every 100,000 people will respond to any given set of conditions. Remember that while every effect is the result of a cause, the effect in turn becomes a cause that creates other effects that in turn creates still other causes so that when I put the law of attraction into operation I must remember that I am starting an action of cause this cause must be good and right for all inductive reasoning is the process of the objective mind I compare a number of separate instances with one another until I see the common factor that explains them all induction proceeds by comparison of facts it is the method of studying nature that has resulted in the discovery of a rule of law that has marked an evolution in human progress it is the dividing line between superstition and intelligence it has eliminated the elements of uncertainty and whim substituting law reason and certitude. By virtue of this principle, the universe presented itself wherever I directed the telescope and microscope. It is full of force, motion, and life. As the eye seeks and receives satisfaction from complementary color and shapes, so do other senses induce, guide, and determine action to receive more satisfaction. It is my responsibility to become conscious of the principle and act in accordance with it. A well-defined want furnishes the reasons for the more complex operations of nature. 
When I conceive and do believe, I will achieve. I believe that my desire has already been fulfilled. Its accomplishment will then follow. This is a conscious direction, making use of the creative power of thought by impressing the universal subjective mind. The particular thing that I desire is an already existing fact. I am thinking on the plane of absolute and eliminating all limitation. I am planting a seed that will germinate into the manifested fruit of my labor. I remember. Inductive reasoning is the process of the objective mind. As I compare a number of separate instances with one another until I see the common factor that explains them all. My ability to reason is given to me for the purpose of ascertaining the law that results in accomplishment, learning the law and teaching it to others. The operation of this thought process is seen in those fortunate natures that possess everything. I always act correctly, always conduct myself with congruence. I learn everything easily, complete everything I begin with enthusiasm. I live with eternal harmony for myself and others. I realize, appreciate, and understand. The recognition of the marvelous power possessed by the mind will be utilized, directed, and made available for the solution to every condition of transcendental importance. The spirit that sleeps in the mineral, breathes in the vegetable, moves in the animal and reaches its highest development in me is the universal mind. And it is my responsibility to be the conduit between being and doing, theory and practice, by demonstrating my understanding of the control I have. By far the greatest discovery of all time is the power of thought. The importance of this discovery is becoming general consciousness. The greatest of all discoveries is now being demonstrated. The power consists of creating ideas and those in turn objectify themselves by appropriating, inventing, observing, discerning, discovering, analyzing, ruling, governing, combining, and applying matter and force. It manifests because of intelligent creative power. Thought reaches supreme activity when plunged into its own mysterious depths, when it breaks through the narrow compass of self and passes through truth to the region of eternal light, where all is, was, or will be integrated as one great harmony. From this process of self-contemplation comes inspiration of creative intelligence. It is superior to every element, force, or law of nature. It can understand, modify, govern, and apply its own ends and purposes, and therefore possess all. Wisdom begins with the dawn of reason, and reason is the understanding of knowledge and principles to know the true meaning of things. Wisdom, then, is illuminated reason, and this wisdom leads to humility. Humility is part of wisdom. I know many who have achieved the seemingly impossible, who have realized lifelong dreams, who have changed everything, including themselves. I have sometimes marveled at the demonstration of an apparently irresistible power that seemed available when it was needed. All that is required is an understanding of certain 